Hey guys, how's it going? It's Troy D from the Troy D 24 seven mall on Instagram. And today I'm going to make a video on my thoughts as well as my predictions on how this is all going to go down with the cactus plant flea market sponge by you blazer that's coming out very, very soon. Now, this is a shoe that I believe is going to be, you know, sold and resold over and over until they're technically beat up. Okay. But before I continue with my thoughts, please follow us on Instagram at TroyD247Mall. Now, I run a resale platform there that's been going on for about a decade. We've been selling hype sneakers, hype items, designer, vintage, gadgets, tickets, you name it. And uh, we don't charge a percentage fee. So basically, a small upfront fee is all what it takes to, to sell your item and uh, you know not pay those percentage fees. Now, Nike released official images for the Cactus Plant Flea Market Blazers today. And they look amazing. The base shoe design with the patchwork stuff looks really great. And they also announced the release date, which is on August 27. Now, that will be the release date of these sneakers on the Nike Bayou system. Now, if you're familiar with Nike ID, this was the formerly known as Nike ID. And if you collected basketball shoes and LeBron's and Kobe's back in the day like me, then you're very familiar with the Nike ID um, customization system. And obviously this sneaker is going to be one of those non-basketball, you know, more on the designer hype, you know, hype, hype B-side um, releases that are going to go under this program. And if you remember, like there, Kobe, I think, was the one that had the most like resale value, those Kobe... Um, Nike IDs back in the day were really, really nice. And so, you know, this one's really exciting too. They've got, you know, as they say, I'm not sure if this is going to happen, but they said there's like 117,000 options for this. I'm wondering how that's going to happen or how long is it going to take for you to really choose um, what shoe um, pieces you're going to put together. But it seems like they got some chenille, they got some shearling, they got all sorts of um, materials on the patchwork and more more so they've got different colors and i think that's really you know what the the nike bayou design is going to be like and um i i, I one of those things that really falls into mind is that how are the bots going to take this you know um this is a customization thing so obviously you need a real human being to uh pick the uh parameters to make this happen and if there are if there are bots that are actually made to do this i think that that's insane that's like next level stuff and i wouldn't be surprised if it already happened that they're already building something to get this but i think that it's a great opportunity for whoever you know can get in to you know kind of manually make this item and manually check out and hopefully that this is one of those that it's like you know bought a verse i mean you remember guys when the vapor max came out um on their main website uh, in the beginning it was like a bloodbath like i don't recall anybody that that i know that's good at copying got anything out of this and uh it, it was it was so crazy but i hope that this time because there are all these options that you know a lot of people can manually check out now my advice is that if you ever make your way in check the hell out you know like don't be um too picky on the the designs on the colors of the swoosh like you already know there's 117,000 combinations i mean i'm just this is like a, a kyrie right here which seems like an easy simple thing to make um but i'm thinking man if you get in you're gonna be all hyped up your blood your blood pressure is gonna be high and you're gonna be like oh my god one of the thoughts in your brain is that am i even gonna be able to cop at the end of this customization so in my opinion hey don't take that long just make you know whatever you think is looks cool and uh just check out because that's the most important thing is that you check out and that you get your shoes because you know the thing you don't want is this when they tell you that it's not available because they only made a certain amount for this release so my prediction um is that it may be a super limited shoe just because of just the amount of people that are probably going to even think about customizing and then you know before you know it it's sold out because people are just checking out um i also think that there's going to be price variations as to what they look like you know um th there can only be so much variations but whoever can make a better looking sneaker i think would be the higher resale 
and I think that you can always sell this high in the beginning, you know, and simply because a lot of people I believe are not going to get this. And so whatever you guys churn out, whatever, whatever the final piece is, I believe that that's what a lot of people are going to want. Now, let me just say this is that, the, you know, the Troy D247 mall, we do sell items that are already pre-made on its way. So I believe that, you know, these kinds of customized sneakers will take a while to ship. And so if you want to sell it ahead of time, you know, when you get this copped, make sure you go to the Troy D247 mall, send me a screenshot receipt, and we can get that going and sell your sneaker for the highest possible price. Um, because obviously it's going to take a few weeks, you know, before it's all done. So until then, guys, I want to thank you guys for uh, watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And uh, have a great day. Good luck on copying this.